The meeting with the traditional rulers which held at the INEC Collection Center on the Pobahi Benicity was aimed at bringing the people to speed on preparations for the 2023 general elections as well as charting ways and means for a seamless conduct of the exercise. The Edo State Rec, Mr. Obo Efanga, stated that about 2.5 million residents of Edo State registered for the 2023 general elections, disclosing that about 400,000 voter cards are yet to be collected. Mr. Efanga remarked that although additional voting units were earlier created, some voters have been moved from highly populated units to units with few voters and urged voters not to feel bad if their names are not found in the original units, but should check online using the app votersinecnangira.org before the election day in order to know the new unit, which will not be far from the former. We will really require the support and cooperation of uh, our royal highnesses and the people in your communities to ensure that there is a success with this. We thought uh, we should have this consultative meeting with you, so we interact with you, we tell us what we are doing, and you can also uh, ask questions and also make suggestions of what you think we need to do for this election to be successful. We want for every new election we do to improve on what we did in the last one. On the mode of accreditation, Mr. Ifanga disclosed that by modern voter accreditation machines have been acquired to reduce cases of overvoting, reiterating that results will be transmitted electronically. Why urging stakeholders to abstain from us capable of undermining a heat free election, Mr. Ifanga disclosed that election results could be assessed through INEC election result Nigeria, adding that INEC has a window of one week to review the results by virtue of the new electoral act. Every time there's election in Nigeria, there's always tension. Um, certain communities are more volatile than others. But we know that with the support of uh, your royal highnesses, you can also talk to the people in your communities to allow um, election to come smoothly and go. During question and answer section, Mr. Fangard cleared gray areas and craved the cooperation of traditional rulers in ensuring the support of their subjects. The Enoge of Eobanosa, Professor Greg Akenzoa and others described the meeting as auspicious and assured of the needed support. The INEC officials have been able to throw light on some gray areas and uh, we're hoping that if everybody understands the processes uh, we will have uh, a successful election. Uh, we will learn a lot today. I think I will go back to Mandeme to coach them about the new method of this voting issue and the way forward. So it's our own duty to go back to our respective domain to sensitize our people over there so that we'll let them know that the INEC is ready as the election is just uh, uh, a few days from now. Although 10 traditional rulers were invited from across the three central districts in Edo State, five were in attendance. The joint election is scheduled to hold on 25th February 2023. Clement Akasia, EBS News.